towers, bro. Demon tower. Planets are to be pitted as they cannot know how big and cool they are. Dr. Kathy Colkin. I think. You know, I didn't. I, I wasn't aware you had already read that until you said pitted both this session and that session instead of pitied. <laughs> pitted. Is it pitted or pitied? Pitied. How do you spell pity? P I T Y. Or pitied is P I T I E D. E D? Oh, yeah, yeah. Good. Wait, then how do you How do you spell pit? <laughs> What's pit? No, pitted. What no, else pitted. <laughs> Is pitted? Pitted's not a word. Pitted? I don't think. What happens when you put two people together? They're pitted against each other, right? <laughs> Is that? Am I wrong? No, no, I think that's. No, uh, I think uh, you're right, but. Hey, dude. Also, Kevin, Kevin says like every word wrong, so I can't get on you for the one <laughs> word you missed. <laughs> hey, dude. At the snail, old snail con. Yeah, Kevin, you wanna redo that one? Oh, <laughs> uh, did I just say it? <laughs> yeah, completely! <laughs> Take two! Okay. <laughs> hey, dude, at the old smell con. There you go. Come save me from Boredom Supreme! Sincerely, Gregory. Was that the voice? Yes. Good morning. At the pickaxe if you're in the town center today. I don't even know why I'm saying this. You're in town center every day. Anyway, see you later. Techonomy today. Turnip founder Mike Eggplant to buy post service. Hi, oh, Sharkle. Sharkle. Bird. 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 I kind of get you now. All like trapped and shit. I should let you out. Nah. Honey, you okay? <sighs> Mornings are tough right now. Are you pregnant? No. Oh, honey, is that why you came home? No, not at all. Sweetie, you can tell me. I've been there. And despite nature's intention, God came through and blessed us with you. You were a miracle, baby. That's me, a miracle. After all the miscarriages, we'd given up hope. And then, there you were. And here I am now. So if you're pregnant... I'm not pregnant. I was not in this situation where pregnancy happens. Okay, okay. I just want you to know you can always come to us with this. Okay, noted. Can we talk about anything else? Sure. You know, if you did have a baby... Okay, I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> okay, sweetie. I'm sorry, I get excited about grandbabies. It's fine. I'll be back later. I love you. Love you too. If it was a boy, you could name him Calvin. Oh god, mom. If it was a girl, you could name her... Trash baby? Cordelia! Why don't I just have the baby and hand it to you? Ooh. Okay, bye, I'm leaving. Don't test the grandmother. She'll take it. She'll <laughs> take that deal. <laughs> hey, don't forget about the father. He's not here. I'm here in spirit. Why can't I leave? Who put, a, who put an oven in your... Uh, Bubbin. Uh, Bubbin. <laughs> and you're Bubbin? Yeah, that's what I said. <laughs> oh, and you're Bubbin. There you Don't go. forget this wash tea. Okay, I guess we're checking this way every day now. They unionized. Proud of them. I know. They, I hope they're, they're probably getting the hourly pay somewhere else. <laughs> they finally did their job. It took us three days. I mean, seven, five days, or maybe more. Now let's be realistic. If it was you and me, Kevin, <laughs> three years. <laughs> and never get done. I'll never even do nothing. I keep blocking the road. Me too. I'll be right there with you. I'll be like, hey, this is fun blocking the road.
I wasn't. I, don't know, I was still watching the sunset. Go back and sit on that that, that bridge. I like I was hearing some weird noises. I'm yeah, like... it was me. Oh. Also, sunrise, Kevin. That's what I said. Kevin, I've been working, you know, with Adrian, and I've always been the one sharing Kevin's stories. But no, he gets to share Kevin's stories. He says really? he just he says a customer called you or something, and you just called her a bitch and hung up. <laughs> yeah, that's that 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 was true. <laughs> and she wanted to know like, what's your name and all that. I was like, my name's David. And I can go. <laughs> Damn. So if you have a David working with you, it's fucked. <laughs> Rest in peace, David. He an OG, that guy. Damn. It be your own niggas. That ass. Hey, man. You alright? Yeah, I guess. Why? You look like... You went through the dryer. On the wrong setting. Yeah. Uh, long week is all. You want to hear a poem? Cheer you up. Sure. I thought that was the poem. Life goes on. It feels so long. I reports. Life is too short. Here's another happy one. Life is great. But life is hard. Let's grill hot dogs in the backyard. Thank you, Summers. They cheer you up? They did. Yay! Has a cops up there again. Yeah, it does. You ever like drop that telescope? Oh no, he'd cry his eyes out. He loves that thing more than his kid. He has a kid? Yeah, her name's Colin. He visits every once in a while. He is hot as hell. You talk to him? Nah, he works at some university research place. He's not interested in this. Summers. Yeah. Didn't we talk to him? I don't. The name sounds familiar, but I don't think so. I think he's that nerd with that that I got confused with the astronomical reef physics. It's... I feel like that guy Actually, wasn't I a think, bear. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they do karaoke at Miller's, but only like one, like twice a week. It should be every night. I feel like um, May would have had dialogue if he had already met the character. Yeah, it was a yeah. It's one of those side characters that keep visiting or something. Bad weather coming in soon. I feel it in my bones. Hmm. Get off my porch. <laughs> yeah, I was wondering, hey, Mike didn't have anything for that. He's about to exercise his Second Amendment rights. Me! Mr. Shazakov. You look a bit worse for wear today, mate. Oh, I'm fine. I made it up here, didn't I? Watch yourself, lest you fall. Will do. Here to see some stars. You know it. You're gonna watch out for that, I mean, come on, have a look. <laughs> ah, my eyes! Damn, she just does that every time. <laughs> <laughs> she didn't actually have dialogue that time, she was just used to it. <laughs> it's like, fuck it, this is my life now. Gotcha. Ooh, which one is this? Adina Ashtra. You know this one? Yes, I know this one. It's a common story. How Adina journeyed to the frozen lake. How she traversed unknown faraway lands. I was very into Adina stories when I was a kid. So you must know what became of her. Yeah. How in her quest, turned her back on the sky and journeyed down into the earth where her stars were no longer over her head and how she was never seen again. Yeah, whatever. Is that not a sad ending? Yeah, I mean, she probably died. She lived well. She did many amazing things. Is it not sad to die having done so much? I guess. Still sucks. Dying. It is a shame. Is that who the um side game's about, Kevin? Uh yes. Okay. It's about this character. I'm actually really interested in him. 
I have no idea what anything about the side game other than that. Me too. I think I got one. Let us see. Cole, the mountaineer. Cole. You a guy named Cole once. Is that close? It is. I think. So what's up with this guy? Cole was from a flat land. This Midwest? Whatever the Midwest or whatever he was from. Was. Every place has a Midwest. This is true. He dreamed of mountains. And devoted his life to climbing them. Because his hometown was flat? Isn't this a common instinct? To seek that which is unlike where one grows up? Yeah. I mean, people go to the city a lot. Like, they move there because it's got stuff. And there's more people like them, maybe. It sucks, though. Not everyone can just up and leave. When I left my country, I felt the same thing. But I have now regretted it. You like Possum Springs? It is beautiful, <laughs> in ways perhaps invisible to those who have seen it every day of their lives. So, what happened to Cole? He returned home, and complained that the sky felt heavy. He had been up into the clouds, and now they rested hard upon him. That's a really specific complaint. When one leaves a place, one brings back something back when one returns. One. One. Oof, that's all for today. That was nice. Pretty sweet, the stars, I mean. I am in agreement. The stars. The stars. I feel like the... I don't... Out of all the stories in the game, I don't think the teens are going to go anywhere. <laughs> like the story yeah, with them. They're, just <laughs> chilling. they're legit just chilling. So, like... Are you always together? Yeah, I guess. That's cool. Friends are cool. Safer. Safer? Yeah, like the buddy system. Safety in numbers. You're a little paranoid, you know that? Kid, you don't even know. Anyone hear anything about anyone around here, you know, missing? Uh, yeah, actually. There's some girl I know online, and she hasn't been on since Harvest. Okay, well, I think we need a bit more than that. Okay, I'll continue looking at Twitter. <laughs> Is she from here? <laughs> I could ask my aunt. Some place called Mulve. Hmm. Mulve? You know someone from Mulve? Yeah? Do you know where Mulve is? Do you know what Mulve is? No. <sighs> um, I mean, uh, have you heard about Mulve? My dad drives a bread truck. Hello, bread. Mulvey used to be one of his stops. What happened? With bread. He didn't stop there no more. Not enough bread. They had to pay some other guy to do it. Sounds about right. Hey, you gonna share that bread? <laughs> What's <laughs> Mul What'd you say? Mulvey. <laughs> I'll take you out there this weekend, but no bread. Don't. It'll be fine. I'll just drive through. You can see the bread. I I need to go get back in the sun now. Not a fan of really? bread, are you? You're not really gonna hook me up with that bread, though. <laughs> hey, no way! I'm giving you another damn bread. Bro, we've been friends for like two years. I sit this sewer with you like two days. Our friendship will never be the same again, cat person. Right. <laughs> it, it was a bear. Oh, oh no! Oh, no. <laughs> now we want to see people. Because there will be children here. And this is his oracle heart. What would the statue think? Am that, I the alligator? That's half empty. That's your job to fix. Not ours. What the, do you think the statue is? The population <clears throat> drain in this region. You have to know this place so never be full again. We have the space, and we have people who need space. We have resources, and we have poverty. Not in some far off place or some big city. And I, I think I changed my voice a bit. Right here. Right across the street. Katie is our number one job right now to bring business into this town. Businesses mean jobs, and jobs mean people. We have to do what we can to get the attention of the market. And having a half dead church stack full of bums. Thank you for your time. 
We'll see you for the photo tomorrow. Make sure you like me. <laughs> Donald <laughs> Duck. Thank you, Katie. <laughs> you have a good heart, Katie. <laughs> Thank you all for thank you all for coming. Is that true? The forward factor. Eh, we're evil. Political men. Said anything about yeah. the statue in the past fucking episodes. <laughs> uh, stressful day. Some days you just need grace more than others. Was this all about Bruce? It was. This. Whatever. It's out of our hands now. But there are better hands than mine. Hmm. Anyway, how are you, May? Nah. Mm. Sounds serious. I guess. So, like, things have been rough lately. I can see that. What seems to be the trouble? I think I met God. What? I don't think it was a dream. Oh, wow. Th that happens, right? Or, like, it happened. Sure. Can you tell me about it? I was in this desert, as far as I could see, where, like, all th that was left of the world was bits of wood and sand. I was wandering through it, but I was, like, drawn to something, and I came over here this. Would you, would you call a hill made of sand? A dune? Yeah, a dune. And there was God, just sitting there up on another hill, or a dune or whatever. Just hanging out? Yeah. It seemed like they were really in it, just hanging out. Did they say anything? Yeah. They, like, didn't care. Didn't care if you were there? No, I mean, they just didn't care. In general. They went on and on about how annoyed they were. That people kept coming to them with questions. And annoyed that anyone thought they were God to begin with. Well, I don't think that was God then. Why? If something tells you it isn't God, you should probably believe it. No, what I mean is that, like, the thing we call God isn't God. It's just a thing. And it doesn't care. Hmm. They kept talking about this giant hole in the center of everything. Growing. It sounds very lonely. Have you been feeling lonely lately? No. No, I mean, I've got friends. I've been with them every day since I got home. But, hmm. There's this deep down loneliness. Been there for years. Since, well, just been a long time. I've been there. I mean, I'm there all the time. I think that's where, if we open ourselves up, God can enter our lives more effectively. I, I guess. Sometimes that's the best you've got. Yeah. I feel like that's maybe not a good enough answer for you. Is that a good enough answer for anyone? Faith is a process. You have to keep getting up and choosing to go on. Do you really think that there's a God? Like, literally, someone up there listening? Is that something you can completely believe? Hmm. I don't know. Oh. On my best days, I think I do. But there are times where I don't. But, but you'd like stand up there every Sunday and tell people you do. And even you're not sure. It's it's your job to believe. Well, I think it's more my job to serve others. But you're lying to people. How? You stand up there and tell people to believe in, in something you don't 100% believe in yourself. Maybe right, me. And maybe I should get up there every week and give some sort of tally on how much I believe that week. But who would, who would that help? But you're a pastor, and you can't even tell me whether or not God is up there, whether anyone is watching or anyone who gives a shit. No, but then what is the point of you? I have to go. Okay. No, dude. Oh, <laughs> this is mom here. Okay. Hey, hon. Are you still having headaches? Yeah, but being out and about helps. Fresh air. Thanks for visiting me here, hon. It brightens my day. Feels weird being here today. Like, so much empty space. Come on Sunday. It's full then. I bet it is. So you have to work because we have money problems. May, I've always had a job. This is just another one. Oh shit, she's working two jobs. Gotta get back to work, sweetie. See ya, mommers. See ya, daughters. I hope the teens are out there. Those stupid <laughs> the creepy teeth. ones, yeah. <laughs> that toxic connection. Yes. Hey, can you 
do me a favor? Sure. Can you tell Pastor Kate something for me? Sure. Don't tell her this till tomorrow. Can you do that? Sure. Tell her I said thank you. And I'm sorry I caused your trouble. But I'm not worth throwing away your job. She's the pastor after all. Folks need her. Are you leaving? Yep. I'll hop a train tonight. Head east. Where will you go? I'm going home. Well, wow, really? Never gonna touch a bottle again. Never gonna lift a hand to no man again. Sit on my daughter's front porch. Watch my grandbabies play in the yard. They'll all be there. Get off that train. The kids are gonna be there. They'll have a sign they made. No fancy poster board markers. Welcome home, Dad. I'll be home. That sounds great, Bruce. Yep, yep. Thanks for talking to me. It's nice to get to know you. You too, Bruce. Gonna miss you. We'll all meet again. I hope so. Hope support. It's the last thing you got. You take care of yourself. You too, man. Oh. I'll be fine, you know. I'm an old hand. It's maybe older than I should ever got to. But I'll be fine. See you around, Bruce. Goodbye, man. Oh, damn. There's a, uh, there's a very big fan theory that he, uh, throws himself off the cliff. Oh, fuck. <laughs> no, I'm oh. serious. It's the dialogue points at his daughter potentially being dead and that, oh. uh, he's going home to her. Oh. And that's why they put him next to the cliff. Wait, so he was planning to die to come- like, he came here to die? I don't think he came here to die. It just- I, I don't think he had, like, a goal in mind. It just, you know, he was just drifting, and then just, you know, I think seeing people care and all that, I think finally, like, made him accept it. Potentially. I, I don't know. They've never confirmed it, like, the creators or anything. Still up here? I mean, I left and went to work, and so forth we met. Hmm. Is that a fiddle? It is a violin. That's like the same thing, right? It's a violin, I assure you. I just met someone else playing by themselves. Really? Yeah, across town in the abandoned building by the click back. They had one of those big saxophones. Hmm. I just thought it was, you know, an interesting coincidence. Not down. I think we're done with the rats, but I'll still uh, visit them and see. There's rat. Speaking of rats. Hey, kid. What you up to? Hey, it help. Nothing. Sounds good. What, what's gonna go down the tracks? Did, did you want to come? Sounds good, actually. No, good, 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 good. Let, let's go. Totally. Let's. My friend Casey used to come out here and smoke. I I used to smoke when I was younger. I'm allergic, but my friend Bay does it all the time around me anyway. How long did you do it for? Uh, okay, it, it was once. I, I was younger though. I, 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 I was 12. Good age to quit. I could vape. You could vape. I'm not gonna vape. Probably a good idea. Um, so do you, do you remember the, the thing we squished on, on the tracks last time? Uh, yeah. What, what are we gonna do? Make it fatter? Kind of, but, but no, you'll, you'll see. I'm, I'm going to pick a new thing to squish him, him with. All right, then. <laughs> squish him. Y you know what we don't have around here? A taco place. Serial killers. Oh, yeah. I, I mean, I'd vote for us to get in a taco place first, but I, I, yeah, we, we never got around to getting our own serial killer. <laughs> you, you ever think about murdering someone? Like, okay, so, like, a few longest nights ago, I, I went to Bright Harbor with my aunt, aunt and cousin, and we went on the subway. And, like, there, there's no railing down there, uh, above, above, above the tracks. And, and I had a sudden urge to, to, like, shove someone off it. It was weird, and, 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 I, and I feel guilty about it for a long time. But, like, I, I didn't actually I didn't actually do it, so, you know, I mean, is, is that normal? I, I think that's pretty normal. I, I, I guess you actually did try to kill someone once. That was different. How? That was, like, not planned. 
And I wasn't trying to kill him. It was just a thing that happened. So, so yeah. It wasn't like my first step on the way to Serial Killer Dumb. Sorry. I swear, they are way too close I know. for that to not hurt. <laughs> You know what I like? Tacos. Pictures of the meteor that killed the dinosaurs. Where the dinosaurs are watching it in the sky. Oh yeah. That's like every single picture of that meteor. Weird. Wonder if they knew. Little dudes are. It, it, it like hurts my soul. It speaks. The heart speaks me. It calls my name. Uh, that was cool. Yeah, it was. I gotta get going. Things are like hectic right now. Oh, what? What's up? Uh, jeez. Just like, be careful, okay? How so? Like, go home at dark. There's some bad stuff going on. Like what? Oh god, I, I don't even know where to start. Just like, be careful. Alright. Thanks for the warning. About whatever you're warning me about. Don't mention it. Laters. <laughs> oh, it's the dudes. Poor dudes. The rats. Rats. The babies! Babies are just living their best life. Oh yeah. They can fend for themselves now. Is there no dialogue? No. I made it seem like she was gonna- oh. Okay. Oh, this is new. Who lives here? It's like, just a room. One fridge, one dresser, one lamp, one bed, one window, one door. I guess that makes two ways out. This would be creepy if it wasn't so spooky. Whoever lives here is certainly a churchgoer. Five saints. Grandmama had a setup like this last time I saw her. Icons are good for keeping the good in and the bad out. This is super important info I retain from years of Sunday school. In the end, Grandmama died while the saints watched. It was time. And they weren't saints anyway. They were just pictures. Pour one out for Grandmama. What is this place? Yeah, this is Wait. freaky. I could hide in here until whoever lives here gets back. Possibly give them a heart attack. Or get shot in the face with a gun. What am I doing in here? What am I doing in my life? I'm sitting in a stranger's closet. In a nearly vacant building. I could just stay in here. Just forever. Be here forever. What is this person pee? <laughs> it's dark in here. That's a good point. He, he may be asking the question. I know. No one else will. I guess we would check that room every day. Yeah. I guess so. That's weird. I, I have no idea where that story goes. Hey. Hey, mate. Hey, dude. Totally. What's up? Nothing. You okay? Yep. Okay. Sorry. Don't mind me. That's it. Now you literally can't mind me. <laughs> yeah. I have no choice but to not mind you. To just knock over all the all the DVDs on the shelf, and he can only just watch in horror. What's in the news? Coyote wanders into the Snow Falcon out past Prittle. Just like walked in? Yep. Sat in the sandwich cooler. Did sat it... or sat? <laughs> <laughs> Did it eat a sandwich? According to the. Uh, 
of this newspaper, the coyote just stared at the cashier. That's, that's spooky. Spooky indeed. Coyote, a spooky animal. That it is. Alright, let me do my number two. <laughs> yeah, is he on the, <laughs> what if he's on the toilet this entire interaction every day? You'll never Jeez. know. I, I never will know. <laughs> oh, where are we going? Are we going back up? No, oh, we're just exploring. Forget. Video outpost one? Make sure I don't miss anything. <laughs> you can do it, you can do it. Hey. hey! Oh! oh. Uh, okay. I don't think what I've seen a llama, dude. This? I've never seen a llama okay. character before. Uh, Daniel, you wanna take him? Yeah. Whoa! What are you doing up here? Uh, um, what are you doing up here? Ah. I live here! On the roof? Uh, no, in, in town. Noted. You're gonna fall and kill yourself. <laughs> Noted. I'm like trying to see the town from above. Oh, okay. Gonna draw a map of the town center. Don't they have maps? Like they make them with satellites from space. Eh, I like mapping them. They're delightful. I like maps. Everything's so tiny. Right. Okay, well, be careful. I'm up here because I'm a professional. I have the shoes for it. Okay, thanks. If I see you on the news with a broken spine, just don't say I didn't warn you. I probably won't be saying anything. All right, good point. Have fun. Motherfucker. Oh. 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 Oh, we didn't do it like that? Okay. Uh -oh. Well, we can still get them all. Now you have to go get them all. <laughs> yeah. Well, I think there's one right oh, over here. Right. Yep, one at the diner. Can we jump? Well. Oh, shit, what's that? This is that, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Who's this guy? We met him. Who's the, oh, man, who's the voice? Uh, I think it was me. Hi again. It's you, kid. I'm actually 20. I'm 38. You're a kid. Okay. <laughs> How do you find this place? I mean, I knew this was up here since I was a kid. But only got nerves breaking recently. Why is that? Not getting any younger. And this place could fall in any day. You get to a point in life where the number of first evers gets lower, and the number of never agains gets higher. I don't know. I know what you mean. No, you don't. You know, you know that guy across town? What guy? The guy I told you about. Yeah. He seems lonely. And you seem lonely. Um... You two could play together. Uh... Did it make this weird? No, it's fine. What's he play? Violin? Fiddle? Are they the same? Huh. Okay. Well, I mean, if you see him again, tell him to stop by. Unless he's a creep or something. He doesn't seem like a creep. Well, I got mace. <laughs> I legit forgot the voice I did for that person. <laughs> it's fine. I, that's most of my characters. I think I realized I am that cat with the, with the violin. You might have been, yeah. But, but I, I do love Swag's voice for that. Thanks, man. You've Mark, been replaced, you Kevin. Oh, that's good. <laughs> Kevin has a lot of voices. <laughs> So what I say to her, mate, get off the damn tape. No. <laughs> and she goes, why don't you just climb up here with me? No way. It's true. We both dance on that table and nearly broke the damn thing. Well, you're a fat ass. <laughs> How fucking dare you? <laughs> Girl's mouth there. Somehow, I can't see it. Well, you have to be there. Don't know why I told the story. I really did it. It was a funny story. <laughs> Gross I just want. Gross I just want a game of those two. 